kept you waiting, huh? Oh, hey, no, I'm back now. I hope, I hope Earl was entertaining in episode two. So now, we're going to Emerald Cup. And we're gonna play my favorite machine in this game. Oh, and F Zero, like to play as, anyway. So now, Emerald Cup's interesting because it's. One would think it's the last cup you unlock, but it isn't. Not by a long shot. Basically, this. I don't know, this cup. If you beat this on Expert, not only do you unlock Master of Class, but you also unlock Diamond Cup. Which Earl will be tackling next episode. So I kind of wanted the, you to do this cup. <laughs> yeah, no, I can see why. I mean, who likes Firefield? Uh, Firefield's such a gamble sometimes, though. Yeah. Now, Another you... generic tube level. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you thought the computers know knew where the boost pads were in Port Town Long Pipes, Cylinder Knot, that's a fascinating story. So anyways, if you're wondering why I didn't show up at all in Episode 2 when I said, I'll be right back. <laughs> I actually did want to go order food, but then family called and they're like, order KFC instead of coming. <laughs> so, I was like, okay, we'll have KFC. And KFC, I don't know, low key is so pretty did good. did you like, actually just go there and wait? <laughs> well, I was upstairs and I was like go about to dial the number to order what we were originally going to have, right? Because I thought they were going to be at the lake all day, but next thing you know, they were like, oh, it's raining and storming, we're coming, order KFC. And I was like, okay. So, uh, instead of order KFC, I was like, I'll just go there and order it my, me, myself, you know, so that's pretty much what I did. <laughs> and I literally watched this fat guy order, like, a 40-piece bucket, which I didn't know existed until I was there. It was pretty cool. It was monumental, if you will. I think a 40-piece bucket's like when you have, like, a super large family. But like, he was yeah. a super large gentleman. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't like Any the human that could eat a 40-piece bucket would have a heart attack, like, right fucking after. No. Uh, Hey, man. I, I don't even know if that's humanly possible. Man, he probably had chicken for breakfast, lunch, and supper. Maybe snack. Oh, you're saying, like, uh... I don't know, I just don't think... Oh, I, know, I mean, unless, unless it was for a family, it just, it just seemed coincidental, though, because it was, like, a super large man, <laughs> and, like... Oh, we're no better, but still. <laughs> I know. But, I mean, I know my limitations, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I've seen Super Size Me. Okay, so right now, Zoda's in the lead. Oh, Oh, we gotta put a stop to that. So yeah, on this stage, pretty much want to be conservative because that health pad is over there. So, which is gonna be the recurring theme in these levels is yeah, they're right behind you though. Yeah, I know. I'm not worried. Same with Bio Rex. He just like wiped it, like just did yeah. a spin attack. You boost once and then hit one pull and that's it. Yeah, I'll take my chances. So, also cue the greatest guitar solo of all time. Oh yeah, no Firefield. Ha Firefield is like a good soundtrack. The stages, on the other hand, are uh, I. I mean, the next Firefield we'll go to. I like that one better than Cylinder Knots. Hold, Black Bull, Lightning McQueen over there. Okay, we're in fourth. We gotta gotta make something happen. Fifth. And there we go. That's rest. that's clutch. I usually like top five that one. Yeah. Mind you, it's expert master class. I think I like get fifth, sixth, or even seventh, depending on the scenario. Now the next course, on the other hand, is if you thought you liked cylinder stages, well, we got another one for you. Another tube. <laughs> Basically, the reason I don't like this cup is it just starts with two tubes. Yeah. Like, well, technically, it was like, it's like a tube cup, because, like, the fourth one is almost like, it's like a half pipe. a half pipe, but still. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, like, the half pipe at least feels somewhat like a racetrack when you're going, like, through that double loop, yeah. but, uh, Super aggressive, you got two. You got three. Are you gonna get him? Yeah. Get him? I mean, I already got Death Anchor ASAP, so... We don't have to worry about Death Hanker. Black Ball, on the other hand, is going to be annoying to catch here, so. Oh, you had him. I had him, but uh, we are... Besides, you only have like 0.5 of a second to actually react to that. Yeah. 
Again, elderly abuse, I'm sorry, Silver Nielsen. I swear to god, I'm not trying to go after you, you just happen to be in my way. I swear, I swear. <gasps> Ooh, wow. You nearly killed yourself too. Yeah, nearly. There you go. And now he has five racers for an extra life. And that's Good what demonstration. It, and that's what it looks like when you have an extra life. I mean seriously, once you get to the heart of cups though, you really do want to probably kill people. Ooh. Speaking of killing people. Notice how though, like, I didn't I started back at three lives though, by that SD, so. Yeah, the this stage you gotta more people to kill if you want that coveted four. Yeah. Also, all those rivals just came back. I know. Yeah, if you die, they come back. Like, it, it's like a new race again. It's like, it didn't happen. I, I feel like Emerald and Diamond is when you want to... Those are the two cups you kind of want to be aggressive. Yeah. Because anything could happen. A, you can kind of get away with the AX Cup. Because some of those courses yeah. are... Yeah. Well, they're pretty much easy. Because they were on the... um. The yeah, cabinet, mode. which is pretty cool. There was an a when we went to Las Vegas. Actually, we got to play the FCO AX cabinet machine. That was pretty sweet. And I won. We were all good until the whole fucking. Night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I s now we're just gonna play this race normally. I swear, I swear. Oh, I'm done killing people. I'm done. I'll let death. I'll, I'll actually let Death Anchor live because he actually will get like 25th place. So. Like, we will not have to worry about Death Anchor getting top six in this race, so. Yeah, so last episode, uh, I noticed our controller sounds were making it through the audio. Uh, I kind of like that you can hear them, to be honest. Yeah. It's, it's like, like he's button mashing in a racing game. Who does that? Well, it's kind of like the, the jagged turn noises you make, I think. I don't know. It feels sexy, you know? <laughs> feels yeah. sexy. Oh. <laughs> Can't wait to beat like, your wife. Can like a speed run? I can't wait to beat your wife, Earl. You know what's sexy? The way she clicks the controller. Dude, I have like no condition of what sexy is. It's like, uh, do you know how to play Pokemon? Can you marry yeah. me? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like Sex that. Life I'm, in a nutshell. I'm kind of like that too. <laughs> to be fair, some people are like, like, because we play competitive Smash Bros as a hobby. And like sometimes it'll be all oh, that was a sexy kill, you know, and it's just like Are you feeling exclamation mark and lonely? Yeah. <laughs> Shoutouts to SK Smash. Now, back to the race. Silver Nielsen, man, is like, you ain't killing me in this race. For some so reason. Coming. The elderly is getting its revenge. I know. It, it's coming full circle. So he knows how I'm not boosting and I'm still somehow getting fifth. He knows how Captain Falcon, my boy, is leaving the race. I'm surprised you don't just like boost straight through the boost pad up there because you auto correct straight to the yeah to the other health pad. I'm only not boosting like too much is because I like, already died twice. You still got two lives. I, I, yeah. Careful. Yeah. See the thing about Little Wyvern is his machine's pretty light, so he gets some good air time. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. You don't want air time in this course though, so, because it's like that's it. Which is pretty much the green plant plant theme or green plant levels in a nutshell. It's like fun. Well, not really. Well, they're all right, but they're not interesting. Cool soundtrack, but not interesting. I guess the one yeah, when we when we really get to pay attention to the details to kind of appreciate the track because like, yeah, like the details are gorgeous, but yeah, it's like if someone was like, "Hey, you and me." In the fucking pipe. You need green plant. Green plant. Let's settle this. We <laughs> need a green plant. <laughs> <laughs> Man, just imagine let's some. Settle this in green plant. Yeah, it was like just imagine some guy challenging oh, Captain oh, Falcon oh, to oh, a oh, race, oh. and it was like you'd be green plant. Mario budges you. Uh, Mr. E80. Oh, by the way, that, that's another cool thing about F Zero is um, they have like Nintendo references. I would say like Mr. E80 is a reference to Mario. James McCloud is a reference to Star Fox's dad. So, which personally, I think that's pretty cool. It's really cool. And I think like the people who, who developed this game are also the developers in some notable Mario games. Oh yeah, you get to tell the Black Bull story in this one? Oh yeah, okay, so remember how in Ruby Cup I was like, Black Bull is usually a pain in like 90% of the courses when you just play Grand Prix, right? Oh, he actually died in um the <laughs> Green Plan. Interesting. He's going to die in this one too. Trust me on this one. From my experience, anyway, and I'm sure anyone can test this, for some reason, this course, I don't know what it is, maybe it's the AI, 
maybe he goes so fast that he flies off. Because if you go fast in this course, you will die. Uh, <laughs> Black Bolt just, like, dies out of nowhere. And I, I, he could be, like, on the race of his life, but he'll, like, die in, like, either the first or second lap. Usually the first. Yeah, it's like one of the races you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, and so, like, if he's your rival still, I guarantee you he isn't going to get any points in this level. Which is a good thing. And, like, really... If you want to do good in Emerald Cup, this is actually the course where you really want to get first or like top six, especially if Black Bolt is your rival, because he's essentially giving you free points. Now I didn't pay attention to who our rival is for this one, but the be beautiful thing about this course and later courses that we'll be going to, computers like to die out of nowhere. So on average, if I don't kill any computers, usually 29, 28, 27 racers will have left, right? In this one, at least like five racers will always die in this course. He's still alive. He's still alive. He's jinxing. Now he got boost power, so yeah. See how long till he croaks. Yeah, but I I promise you, he he doesn't win this race at all, no matter what. Like I think the only way he wins this race is if you play him yourself, which isn't that hard too much. I mean, actually, to be honest, if you're Black Bolt, you don't really need boost power on this level because he goes pretty fast already. Yeah, he does. Yeah, there you I'm go. Sure he just died. <laughs> <laughs> he spanned and did something. He, he did that, which I, I'll admit, he never dies doing that way. Actually, where he dies is that ramp that we took, like, that we cut the branch. That part, he usually always dies because, like, he's such a heavy machine. That's why it's being, it, like, sometimes it's good to be a light machine, because you could actually get distance. No, he's still alive, never mind. Oh, he's, he's going to no. die at this part right here where we're at. So, like, right here, he would die just because he's too heavy. Even though we go to 26, he dies. Yeah. No, he lived through it. Oh, my goodness. He lived through the first lap. Okay, he's, like, jinxing my theory. But I swear no, he died. No, no, he's alive. alive. <laughs> he killed someone and then came back up. What is he doing? He's pretty much taunting my theory, because uh, uh, I'm not paranoid. I swear, like, every time from my personal experience playing this now and then, he always dies at this level, but... Maybe since, he interacted with another AI and that saved his ass. Maybe. Either that, or he was like, oh man, two fat kids are doing a Let's Play on this game, and some fat kid was like, oh, I die at this level. I'll prove, I'll prove him wrong. So it's like... <laughs> But no, he, he doesn't do well in this course, though, I guess is what I'm getting at, so. On the other hand, anybody does good in this course. This is actually one of my favorite courses next to Areopolis Multiplex. Yeah. And um, the next big blue stage we'll be going to after Half Pipe, which is actually one of my least favorite uh, FCR levels, so. Let's see if he survived. Yeah, let's see if I was right. Cause I, fe I felt like he should have died, like, like really early on. He actually lived. He lived. He, he wanted those points. Seven. Well, well, call my mouth and I don't know. I don't know what people would say. Green Panther. Now that's that's random. That's like the rule of just people watching you. When you want, when you explain that you're good at something or you like predict something. Yeah. The opposite always happens when you try to prove it. Yeah. But I mean, I'm sure people know from that experience, because like, you, you've had that before, like, you play this game and like, you know he dies at that level. Yeah, I know he yeah. does, like, I didn't notice it until like a long time later, but it's yeah. still like... It's just weird that he actually lived, but now, now this level, you gotta be like really careful. I remember the first time ever playing this level, this level got me game over so many times. It's like frustrating, because it's like, I don't even bother trying to go for first place here, because... Yeah. It's not oh, as much even me. like trying to stay on the half pipe, it's trying to stay on the boost lap yeah. when you do finish the first lap because if you expend too much energy, you'll need some lasers at the end that could just nip you out if you don't uh, cut them perfectly. And I mean, and with the body type like E, it only takes like two lasers, maybe three, and that's it. It's a pretty wide set vehicle. Yeah. So. And I guess that's where the A body type comes in, which is nice to have. Like you can you can hit some hazards and like walk it off. So but yeah, I don't think I ever met someone saying, "Oh man, this is like my favorite course." Like I'm sure it's a cool course, but I mean, like I don't know. 
and someone was like, you want to race on this course? I'd be like, no. This is the course you get on, like, random, where you just groan that you got it. Yeah. Like, if F-Zero had to pick random course mode, like Mario Kart, yeah. Trust me, once we get to- once we come back here on Masterclass, it gets more zany than this, cause... Computers are like ruthless. I think the way it's gonna roll out is if we decide to have me start at Ruby, I'll be doing this in Master. Which will be hilarious. Or we want me to go straight to, uh, Diamond. Uh, yeah, you go straight to Diamond. Cause that's gonna be the hardest one out of the... But it's on Expert, though. Oh, you, you don't get Master immediately? You get Master immediately, but I don't know, do you want to dive on the... I think we should just go straight to Master and do all four. All four? Yeah. In terms you of say so. You say so. But I also feel like after this we need to play like story mode too. I don't know. Yeah, we can index it. Oh, and oh, as you can, can see, Black... Hell. Yeah, exactly. Black Bull came back. He was like, that's for predicting my death. Third of <laughs> life bar, you yeah, lost there, man. Yeah, so I mean, this race isn't looking good. But then again, Green Panther is like not even in the radar. And he's supposed to be my rival, so that's good. Same with Red Gazelle, so I mean, this could be our race if we play our cards right, so. Right now, Battle's going in, though. Iron Tiger, Twin Arena, Crazy Bear, yeah. Technically, these pipe levels, they, them, Super Piranha, and actually Little Wyvern do really well in those courses. Next course coming up is like what Astro Rob and Red Gazelle, Gold Fox, those courses they generally do good in, so. I don't know, this game is weird, like, with the AI, because, like, certain characters do really well, like, no matter the AI. Like, they could be in last place, but if it's, if it's their course, they'll, like, do really good, so. Third place. Yeah, we'll take third. And I have a feeling Black Bull is going to be our rival now, because he's doing really well. Yeah, no. Yeah, Green Panther. Okay, so... Oh, Twin Narita is actually going to be our rival. That's interesting. We'll take that, we'll take that. Time to the final course. Final course. And this, and this is like... Your personal favorite. Personal favorite. Especially if you have the um, original music remix. If you, um... And either enter a bunch of cheat codes, like button movements, or if you beat everything, or in this case, to unlock Big Blue, if you beat everything on Master, you get the Big Blue soundtrack, which is pretty cool. The Butte City soundtrack, you either have to um, hit a bu do a, bu a button sequence, which is really hard to do, or you have to um, unlock it at the arcade. I prefer the unlock route. Yeah. It feels more accomplished. Plus with the arcade, yeah, plus with the arcade, you actually get the AX mode too to put your memory card in, which is pretty cool. Like that, get which we forget to freaking do. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. See, look at that distance. See that? There's your light body. And we're gonna slid on some ice. There's that's weird that there's ice in F Zero, but I don't question these things. It's Right now, Red Gazelle's in first place. I mean, I think it's safe to say that we probably won this cup, and that we will have Master Mode. Don't jinx it, man. Yeah. Last time you said I we <laughs> won this race, the wall met you. Yeah. <laughs> Just kaboomy. But no, um, I, I think I think Earl could, I mean, Epic could agree that um, we'll play Story Mode next, because I mean, I'm sure you guys want to take a break from Grand Prix a little bit. I mean, I love being some Grand Prix races, but man, this game shines in the story mode. <laughs> like, oh, wait till you see the story mode. If you, I mean, if the people who beat the story mode will already know what I'm talking about. Why it's the greatest story. Yeah. The only reason I'm saying, like, go for the cups first is because you want enough tickets to unlock all the stories. Yeah. I mean, don't worry, we'll be bouncing back through the cups anyway, regardless. Yeah. So Organizational-wise, though, I'd be like, yeah. Uh, I'd no. rather have it in, like, story mode in a couple of episodes. Yeah. <laughs> and then just get the Grand Prix out of the way. But you get the prologue and chapter one for free, though. Yeah, but it's gonna be like, if someone wants to, like, view the story as a whole, the third place. I don't know, like, who really does that, though? No, I mean, I, me personally, like, I don't mind if the Let's Players, like, bounce back and forth. It adds, like, variety. 
doesn't make like the playthrough stale. <laughs> but I do understand some people with their OCD that like to watch the story in its entirety. But I mean, will it be like that episode? But I mean, I promise you, even if we do that, you won't get the story. Oh, we got to do it like three episodes at a time. Then, if we're yeah, doing because like if I'm going to section them off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man, we'll have a good time. We'll have a good time. Story mode. Oop. Story mode brightens everyone's day. On a side note, I have not seen Twin or Eve, so I mean, it's safe to say we won. Oh, Gold Fox going in. So I'm just hitting a bunch of walls right now. So yeah, no. If, if you get if you get past the first two stages and the fourth stage, Emerald Cup's actually not that bad of a cup. So let's see. there we go. There we go. So now, do you want to do chapter one, Earl? Are, oh. are you wanting to go straight to the story right now? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I like the story mode. I don't know. I'm getting. Well, if we do story, and we run out. We got to do all master cups in a row then when we get to it. Well, most of those chapters are only 25 tickets. And Master, Master Mode, if you get first, you get 40 tickets, 50 tickets. So, I'm... Yeah, but like, uh, at, least three, well, we're not at least three in a row. Yeah, but we're not buying, like, the racers right away, though. We're saving that for last. Okay, well, let's see what wise words that... Mr. James McCloud has to say. Oh. F-Zero-TV. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know what he already said. You might as well go for the prize money. That's the recurring thing. If I had to take a guess what he's gonna do with his prize money, he's gonna he's gonna go on a honeymoon with his wife. All right. That just seems like a reasonable thing one would do, right? Let's watch. How will you use the one billion space credits in prize money? Buy the latest model racing machine for my son. And that's I why see. we have spoiled kids. But I mean, I mean that that's also. All right. We'll catch you guys though. later, huh? Congratulations. Oh, there you go.